everyone, this is Amy. I appreciate you stopping by today. Today I'm going to show you another daisy design on this uh, painted, or not painted, but on this uh, glass, I guess, vase, candle holder, whatever you'd want to use it for. I am going to be using the number 12 flat brush, the number 6 Deerfoot stippler, and the number 8 filbert brush kind of doing a series, I guess you would say, on the daisies for this week. And we are going to be using, or I am going to be using, Berry Wine, Thicket, Fresh Foliage, the Metallic Silver, Cinnamon, Moon Yellow, and last but not least, Wicker White. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is start with some berry wine flowers that I'm going to just sporadically put in different places here, and then I'll paint in my daisies, and then I'm going to paint in the green or the foliage. Alright, so I will be double loading my brush and I'm sticking it into the white. I should have probably put my berry wine right next to it, but I didn't, so I just have to tap it in and then just keep blending it into the white. And these are going to be not roughly flowers, but uh, more wiggly, I guess, than roughly. However you wanna, however you wanna look at it. Again, this is just a easy design. Everything I paint is simplified, just for the fact that I do want people to paint, especially right now when everybody's so uptight and we have all these concerns with the the virus and such that's going around. An outlet or a great outlet really is to be creative. If you can find a creative outlet that can help take your mind off of some of the stuff that you can't really control in life right now that's going on. Let me see here. I'm just going to come down here like this and then go back up and then do another one over here. I don't want to do too many and I have to watch my spacing because this is smaller than my sample page because I do my samples on your regular size paper or common common size paper. And this is definitely not anywhere close to the size of the paper that I'm using. different styles of petals. You don't have to do this style that I'm doing, but you can do different styles if you find that you want to do something else. So there's you know, definitely a variety of, of styles of petals to paint. If you have any questions while I'm doing this, please put those questions down below. While you're viewing this, if you like this video, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And when you're finished watching the video, if you would, hit that share button that's underneath and share the video with all your family and friends, I would definitely appreciate it. I am trying to grow my channel. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see me paint on, or paint in general, just let me know. I'll be glad to give it my best shot. Like I said, you can see these are just very easy. You're just kind of wiggling your brush, going up 
and back down, wiggling one it around. And I'm going to do another one over this direction. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it to where I'm not rolling, rolling out of out of the camera view or touching my design on the paper and ruining it. Of course, don't want to do that. And you can make them however many petals you want. But it doesn't have to be five or six or or whatever, whatever you're comfortable with. All right, so now to to do the the daisies, I am kind of mixing my paint or paint, my white paint somewhat with the silver metallic, just to give it some other color besides white. So maybe it'll show up a little better. And if you know with painting daisies, you can bring the petals like on top of each other if you want to layer them that way. Or if you feel like you want to make some shorter as you go down, which I probably will do with this one because of where it's landing. See like that, those are shorter. You can do the clock style where you're doing one here, one there, one there, one there, and then build from that. That's kind of a guideline at times. However you feel comfortable. That's the main thing. And I am, as you can see, pulling in some of the pink, which is fine. If you don't like doing that, then I would recommend giving it some drying time or at best hitting it with a hairdryer or a heat gun to prevent that. But because I'm wet on wet, that's going to happen. And I'm really okay with that. But I know not everybody is. They want their colors to be, you know, true. So, you know, it's up to you. I'll leave it there. And actually right here, I think I'm going to Wipe this off a little bit so not all of them are like that. I don't want them all to have pink. And like I said, the best way to prevent that is to give it some drying time. But when you're doing wet on wet, it's going to happen. And you can, when you're doing these, do your petals going in different directions. You know, like these are going that way. This one's coming from this direction. You can even slide it in and make some little like thinner petals. Yeah, you know, just whatever whatever works for you. And you could even let this dry a little bit. I can hit it with heat gun and go over it again to get some some of the pink out if I wanted to do that. Probably won't be doing that, just saying, because I don't want to make my video too long. But this is going to be kind of a full, full palette here. But I hope you like it. I just thought it'd be fun to do a little, a little series on. Daisies. I was kind of doing a wedding series a few weeks ago, and I thought, you know, this would be kind of fun just to pull in a, just a specific flower and, and add that to, to my channel. It gets pretty, though. The design I painted up is pretty... Like I said, you can layer them if you want. It just really depends. All right, so on that note, I'm going to switch over to putting, you know, actually, hold on for a minute. I am going to um, actually dry this a little bit before I proceed. All right, so I went ahead and I did uh, dry them a little bit 
before I go ahead and tap in the centers. Um, who knows though, because I just painted over them too, so I don't know. I'm being a little goofy tonight, I guess. Alright, so with my centers, I guess I'm going to start towards the top here. I'm just going to take my deer foot stippler, put my centers in where I think they should be, or where I want them to be. And then just keep doing it. I like this Darefoot stippler. You can, if you don't have one, because I don't really want you to have to go out and buy different brushes based on what I'm using. You can use a scruffy brush. You can use just even a regular, maybe even a round brush to tap the centers in. The centers don't have to be done the way I'm doing mine. This is just the way I like to do them on this type of flower. Feel free to add to them what you want and how you want to do it. That's up to you. And you can keep working these. You know, you don't have to just quickly put them in. You can keep working on a build. Build it up, layer it to get the, the look you're after. Because it is just kind of a, you know, just a building, really kind of a building exercise per se. Or you're layering it. If you get the look you want as soon as you're doing it, first time, that's great. But I kind of like to play with them a little bit. And then I'm going to tap a little bit of white into them towards the top part. And then come back in with the yellow, the moon yellow. Kind of tap it out, just kind of blending a little bit. Sometimes I lose the white once I'm doing this, but that's okay. It doesn't have to show completely. It can show a little bit, or you can go back over it. If you feel like you lost the white too much. Or again, you can do the blending. Dry in between so that you're getting drier layers. So they'll lay nicer. And you could even on this one put some of that berry wine. Berry wine looks really nice. Topped in at the bottom. You can actually even do circles or dots. I should say not circles, but dots around these. I really like dots on the centers. Very nice. Alright, so I'm going to leave it at this for these and I'm going to start on the greenery. Because you know, I go wild with my greenery. Alright, so I'm going to double load my number 10 flat brush. And I do have the greens next to each other. They're kind of spaced to far apart, which, whatever. And I'm going to tip my, the side that has the lighter green into the yellow. And I'm just going to do my blending strokes to get it mixed into my, into my bristles. And then I'm going to start. Now, if you want to come through and pretend like you have stems and whatnot, you can do that. If you don't want to do that, you want it just to add in the leaves, you can do that. You can use a different size brush if you want to use a smaller brush, which would be fine. I just don't want to have you having to use too many different brushes. 
but whatever, however you can achieve the look you want, go for it. You know, my paintings are just to give you design ideas. Definitely not something you have to do or stick stick with as far as when you're doing a design. I mean, obviously, I know you know you don't have to do it, but I don't want you to feel like it's so stringent that you have to do your design like mine. It truly is just giving you an idea. Inspiration is what I say. And I like to change the colors around a little bit just to give it some interest. And they don't all have to be the same. But this is kind of a packed packed design as far as the spacing goes, so and easy to do. And you can just go back over it if you don't like. Like this up here I feel like has way too much yellow for me. So I went back over it. This is kind of thin so I'm just going to go over it a little bit. Oh, I forgot I have one over there. This one here, I'm going to put my stem like it's going up in here. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Come over here. And just tap it and pull in. Tap it and pull in. And of course, I can't do a painting without mentioning this. You know, the thicker, the more opaque your design is the more durable it's going to be when you're doing glass. So just keep that in mind. Make sure too when you're doing glass work that you clean your glass well before you paint on it. Soap and water, rubbing alcohol when you're done can be perfect. The rubbing alcohol just makes sure that any kind of uh, residue that might be on it from your, you know, your fingers or whatnot is actually taken care of by doing the rubbing alcohol. And this one I'm just going to kind of bring it in here like it's in that. Now again, I'm going to be putting leaves on here so who knows what all you're going to really see. Because I love my leaves. And I'm going to do a variety of them. And actually I'm going to pull some stems out here too. Just to add some more interest to the design. These are fillers. Filler leaves, filler branches, whatever you want to call them. You have filler filler flowers too, but I'm just going to pull them in a few spots here. And basically what I'm going to do is just go like this all the way down them. I'm going to come back, dip into my yellow, and just pull them. Whenever you do these though, if you want to make them more opaque, or you want to do like the stem again, you can definitely do the stem. Don't have to. And you can go over the flowers some too. I'm going to kind of pull this out a little bit. My brush is getting a little full. But I do like for them, you know, again, to be opaque. I just, as much as possible, you probably still see, see some of the paint glass or whatnot, but it's it's fine. However you want to do it. Alright, I'm going to do this one too. 
come down here, just try to keep them light, and just keep pulling and pulling and pulling. Just keep doing it. I hope you like this design. I think it's pretty. And also, I like try to mention when I'm doing my videos that like this piece of glass has been reused. It's not something I'm selling. So I do try to clean them off as best I can for the purpose of doing my videos. I just don't want to have too much glass piled up in my house because I don't happen to sell all of it. And then I'm stuck. And I like to do my videos, so there you have it. And it's great when you overlap. That's what more true to nature. Yeah, I'm just doing some light touches, adding in more of the yellow. Come back in, maybe add in some of this green. Just keep in mind the point of this is just to be more of a filler than anything else. And glass is definitely a different surface to paint on as opposed to canvas or paper or whatnot. So keep that in mind if you want to practice a surface that's really good to practice on to get more of a realistic feeling because I really think that when you're painting you need to train your your hands would be to use wax paper because it flows very freely also and that's one reason I always liked painting on glass is because of the movement of the paint on the glass it was just so much easier than on any other surface that I tried It's just an idea. It, it's, uh, it's very cheap to use and you know, it just gives an awesome surface to try to paint on. Alright, I'm going to wipe some of this paint out. I just feel like my brush gets too full. I don't like it. Alright, so let's do some leaves and get this finished up. The leaves I'm doing today are going to be, uh, I like these kind, they're just really fun, just more of a rigid edge, you see what I mean? They're just not, not real smooth. I'm doing some wiggling in and out, and, out and then pulling. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull through here. And then just keep doing it. You can do the lighter on the outside. You can rotate it and have dark and light. And on this one I'm going to do, now that one's the smoother one than what I wanted to paint. I don't know why I did that. Who knows. But I can correct it. I can correct it. Alright, let's keep moving here. This one, I think I'm going to do the dark on the outside. Up, down, all around. And you 
could make them even thinner if you wanted to. They don't have to be real thick. Thick kind of leaves? No, they don't. Anytime you're doing these, though, if you want to give them time to dry, and I did smash my, see, this is all pivot poopies. This is what I always worry about. So I tried just to paint on the top part, the front, so I don't run into this issue, but I got it smashed on the one side. Dang, nab it. That's one time when it's nice to have a smaller design. And I'm going to redo this because I kind of messed up here with this little stem. And I apologize, my furnace is kicking on. Alright, here we go. I'm just going to do it real lightly. I won't try to take the paint off. Alright, let's see where else we need to stick. And I am going to do just a few of these little one stroke. What I want to say, flatten it out and pull it down. Just kind of fill it in like that. Easy peasy. And I'll show you, I messed my piece up over here and I probably just did it again. I'm really working it over. Don't do this. I keep these in because um, I'm human <laughs> and I do mess things up quite often. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to put some of these just real easy little leaves in here. And just make it just real lightly when I'm putting those in. Hopefully you can see it. And I'm going to fix these up a little bit. It's one thing nice with glass. If you make a boo-boo like this, you can just come back over it and fix it up. Or wipe it off. Pretty easy, right? Pretty darn easy. Alright, let's go this way. And I'm going to probably call it a day because I don't want to find myself you know, doing too much damage. For the design. And depending on what color, now if you're doing like clear glass, this is fine. You know, to do the leaves like I'm doing. If I'm doing it on a green bottle, I might have it more of a tendency to put my lighter green on the outside. But you just need to know that you can rotate them. You can have a mixture of flowers in there together, or not flowers, but leaves. They don't all have to be the same style. They can be the same style. You can do the same style and just rotate the colors as far as the extremity being the dark, the extremity being the light, or one side being the dark, one side being the light. However you want to do it. Alright, like I said, I think I made enough mess here. I'm going to stop for today before I do any, any more damage. Look how pretty that is. Just very quick, very pretty, very simple strokes and you've got a pretty design. Alright, I hope you like this. Once again, if you do, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the, the notification bell. And when you're done viewing, please make sure you share this with all your family and friends. I would appreciate it. Until the next time, you have a good one. See you then.